here's the studio and what I'm going to do is videotape every phase that I go through with this painting. This is the very first phase when I started working on it. I call it equestrian. And so this is the very beginning phase after one session. This is what I came up with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to videotape each phase as I go through it. So this is number one. And you can see in the upper left hand corner one of the sketches that I created is the inspiration for the piece. And if you look at the lower right there's another sketch of a horse that's also inspiration for the piece. So we'll see how it develops over time. Alright, here's phase two of the painting and I worked on the background almost exclusively so I'm going to keep working on that to finish up some of those areas so the whole canvas has an even distribution of paint and color. And I'm going to go back and redefine the horse and some of the other shapes later, but I wanted to cover the entire canvas. So I'm thinking of the whole canvas as one entity and the shapes emerging from that background. So it's a whole different way of painting for me. So hopefully this will all come together when I'm finished. But right now this is sort of the beginning phase. And I intend to leave a lot of this information, you know, left over when I start working on the painting again. So a lot of this information will be there. So I'm just adding layer upon layer of paint to make my point. Okay, this is the third session, and I'm chronicling the painting as it comes along. So there'll be an image of this, but this is kind of where I am. So I'm working primarily on the upper right-hand corner, which I feel is kind of unresolved, and then going back into the horse again. So I'm kind of going all over the place, if you will. I think it's going to be a very uh, rich painting when I'm done with it. But right now, you're kind of seeing where I'm going. So each day... I'm going to be adding more detail, more nuance to it, so I'm hoping it comes together. But right now it's kind of at an at a interesting place. Anyhow, take care. I don't know who I'm addressing this to, but, but anyhow, this is where I am, and I'm going to keep chronicling and videoing this piece as I work on it. Okay, here's yet another uh, episode with the horse, and that was completed today, October the 4th, if I'm not mistaken. So hopefully we'll have that together here to add to my growing collection as we chronicle the completion of this painting. Okay, it is 1.31, January the 3rd, and this is my horse painting, and I had to do this one video to show it where it was before I start again on it and finish it up. So this is kind of like toward the end of the process. So I had to shoot a video of that because I've been chronicling the whole thing since I started and I thought, well, I might as well keep going. So this is kind of where we are. Hopefully I'll see out of the light here. There's the horse's head and the mane and we've done a couple of things here. I think it's going to be a really strong painting. It's kind of hard to let go. It's one of those paintings where I don't want to let go of it. You know, I'm so into it, but at some point it has to be finished. It's always hard starting them, it's always hard finishing them. <laughs>